Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Seoul, South Korea. Actually just arrived to Incheon International Airport. So we're actually in Incheon uh, and we've got our flight out in a few hours. We're here a little bit early actually before we can even check in. So I thought I would give you a tour of Incheon International Airport Terminal 2. Uh, this is one of the nicest airports in the world. I know it's been rated as one of the top airports and I've, every time I come here I'm impressed. The food, the like open spaces, the beauty, the convenience, internet. the internet, there's everything here. The, the seating, everything. It's a wonderful airport. So in this video I'm going to give you a tour of Incheon International Airport. Walk around, do some things, shopping, we'll go to a lounge and this is going to be an ultimate Incheon International Airport tour. Just happened to see, uh, we do have some extra change and I have some small bills and okay, I think I just have to. It's been like three years maybe since I've tried Shake Shack and I think I only even had it once, right? Ying, we just had it once I think in Korea. One time, right? I, Two. Or twice? No, just once. We've only had it once. Okay, we got to use some of our spare change, some of that change to buy a burger. I got to try it. I think I'll just go the standard, the shack burger, the double. Just a double shack, please. How much do we need? Is it? Oh, yep. Yes. Oh, okay. That's it. Five to ten minutes, got my little buzzer. We'll come outside because the music is a lot less loud. They have a little patio section here. Oh, whoa. That seat is a little lower than I expected. Okay, five to ten minutes. And then I bought a a sparkling water. Very fancy. It looks kind of like a deodorant. You open it like this. Wow. That is kind of... Oh, it's like an actual bottle. <sighs> Can't wait for this burger. I don't eat burgers very often, but... Come on, one more. It is time. We are buzzing. Hello. <laughs> Okay, got the double shack. Oh man, just that open face is beautiful. That the the cheese oozing out, the burger patties, the the simplicity, the meatiness, the the ratio. And I'm trying to think, last time when I had Shake Shack back in New York City, I read all about it before going there. Like the the burger, like the bun is designed for that burger backslide, so it doesn't the burgers don't slip out. There's, a def there's definitely a lot of burger engineering that goes into the double shack. In fact, I'll just take it all out of the, the paper. Oh yeah, because check it out, they don't even fully cut the bun in the back. I didn't know that. I don't know if I've ever taken off the, I think they call this, at least in some restaurants I've heard they call it the, the burger diaper. Oh yeah, so wow, that feels really soft. I love that ratio of meat packed with meat. Soft bun, oozing sauces. Oh yes. Oh wow. It's been a long time since I've had a burger. It's been a long time since I've had Shake Shack. That's exactly what I remember. For me, what, what hits me first is like the beef. It just tastes real and fresh. It doesn't have a frozen taste to it. And then it's also like not a very fine grind, so it has a crumble to it. Just a beautiful, beautiful burger. To me, it has very little like preservative plasticky, fast foody taste to it. It does, I mean, especially the meat. Tastes quality, tastes natural. And yeah, so far very clean, nothing has even dripped out. Just a little bit of oil on my fingers, grease. It is a clean burger too. I mean, that's the way they've engineered it. And I've always loved mustard. Every time I look at this, I think it's deodorant. Okay, final bite, and it is everything held together, no drips, it is just kind of greasy on the bottom there because of that beef. Okay. That went down way too easily. That completes Shake Shack in Korea at the airport. 
You know what I was just noticing though? The burger could really use a lot of uh, raw onions. I would like it a lot better with raw onions. But it was tasty. Or maybe you can order raw onions. I should have. I think that would have made it better. We're going now upstairs to the check-in counters. Ah, uh, this airport is great. The spaciousness, the cleanliness, the new design. It's a fantastic airport. Wow, this is a, this might even be a new terminal within, I don't even know, no, I think I've been here, but I don't think I've checked in here. I think I've flown through. Wow, what a building, what a, what a construction. And this is the Korean Air Terminal. We're gonna be flying Korean Air. Uh, and I think most of the Sky Team, their Alliance Airlines. We can check in at B. But actually, I think we go back this way to B for check-in. What is that, Ying? <laughs> Hello. Hello, how are you? Please come and say Airstar if you need any help from me. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Airstar. Nee. Oh. This might be the first, definitely the first airport that I've ever been to with robots roaming around. Enjoy the various around. facilities at the airport. Thank you very much. Please select below. Oh, you can find all the restaurants here. Ow. It's Korean food. That's it. Yeah, that is pretty cool. It looks like you needed help, that's why. Ow. <laughs> right? The robot came straight to Ying. I think because he, the robot knew you needed help. <laughs> oh, check-in was fantastic. No line and just the open space and the design is its beautiful at this airport. And of course, this is the the departures. The arrivals is downstairs. Uh, okay, we're going to go through immigration, go through security. I'm going to put the camera away and I will see you when we are in the, the terminal. Uh, welcome to... A mega, this is like a mega mall in here. Mega entertainment complex mall, but yeah, immigration, that equipment is just state of the art, all the scanning, the security process, and then immigration, and their little gates that go whoosh to open and let you in and out. Okay, from here, immediately the shopping begins, and Ying does have a little bit of shopping, so are we gonna go shopping first, Ying? Yep. Sorry. You need to find another robot friend. I do spot the robot over there cruising along. I wonder how many robots are roaming around the Incheon International Airport. Hello, my name is Airstar. Airstar. Somehow Ying has a way of attracting the robot. <laughs> the robots love to follow Ying around. Okay, we're on our way down this side. That is very cool, and almost every time that I've come to the Seoul Incheon International Airport, I've seen that, but uh, an entire traditional Korean procession with drums, but I think they all they also offer a cultural show here if you have a long layover. Uh, I'm not sure of the time schedule of that, uh, but then they walk through the airport at occasional times as well. That's always cool to see, and very unique to Incheon International Airport, the Korean culture. Check out this sculpture. Wow. And then I think it's, oh, it's where you get your information. Very cool sculpture though. Hey, how are you? How are you? Yeah, sure. An entire garden. Look at that garden. Are those all real plants? There's even trees. And then with a big globe in the center. I love the, what I love is the natural light coming from the ceiling, the sky roof. That just, it's all natural light in here. There's an entire little forest. I think they're real. Yeah, because look at that. Looks like some of the plants are real and some are not. I'm not actually sure though. Oh, that echo. 
This is for sure the coolest airport sculpture art I've ever seen. Well, that's kind of kind of trippy. I see two thousands of myself all over the world, and my voice just echoing throughout this entire place. Whoa, does it move, or am I feeling things? I saw. Okay, there it is. There's where we're going. Bangkok. Wait, I can't. Where is it? There we go. Somehow you can even see like. Where's that coming from? The door. Okay, can't spend too much time in here. We start to go a little bit. Wow. Okay, bye. I feel a little, a little dizzy after being in there. Oh, and I think this is where the procession was from, the Korean Traditional Cultural Experience Center. So you can come in here. I don't know. It's kind of like a cross between a museum. I think things are for sale too, but it's more of almost like a traditional Korean uh, museum. Showcasing some of the brass, some of the, the cooking, the music, the arts of Korea. Over in the backside, there's a traditional Korean style home, a hanak. Uh, and they offer like a full experience. You can do something, some kind of art work, some kind of bowl thing. And I think every now and then they have a theater performance as well as the, the walkthroughs as well. Yeah, so you can have like a, I mean, a, a very intro to traditional Korean culture, even if you have a layover at Incheon International Airport because yeah, lots of people fly through um, just with a layover. I uh, just happened to stumble upon this, but I knew there was transit tours. So if you have a very long layover in Seoul, you can go on a free transit tour. Granted that your passport uh, meets the requirements for going in and out. Uh, but they have a number, I, th I thought it was just one tour, but they have a lot of tours. They have a traditional tour where you visit some of the traditional uh, historical buildings in Seoul, a shopping tour, a temple tour, adventure tour, K culture tour, old and new tour, entertainment, um, yeah. So you can choose your schedule. You do have to have quite a few hours of a layover and then you come to this desk and you sign up, you meet and you go on your tour and then get back for your next flight. So if you have a very long layover, it's something good to consider. Layover. Feeling a little thirsty after that Shake Shack. To get to the lounge, you come upstairs, there's a very nice coffee shop. There's a seating lounge area with both coffee tables and lounge chairs. Oh yeah, and over on this side, it's even a, like a study room, a really relaxed, like a library over here. And I think, oh, the nap zone. This is a nap zone. And this is all just part of the airport. Yeah, oh, that looks, that looks very relaxing and sleeping. Okay, but yeah, even without, this is not even a lounge or anything. This is just part of the airport. It's really, really nice. So like, I mean, you could, it's, yeah, it's a great, great airport with so many facilities. Okay, we around, arrived to Lounge L. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm honestly not that hungry right now at this moment because of that burger and then because we had lunch right before we came to the airport actually. Eel barbecue, which was delicious. Uh, so I think I might wait on the food for a little while. Pretty decent selection of food. Oh, these are the ones that are stuck together. Okay, bulgogi with rice with kimchi, and there's carrots, mushrooms, and onions in here. 
and maybe uh, spring onions. Oh yeah, that's good. A little bit sweet, salty. I love it because it's cut so thin, so all that flavor just absorbs into the meat. And no Korean meal or snack is complete without kimchi. That just completes the flavor in your mouth. You can pick up a piece of seaweed, and you could make a whole wrap with everything, but I like to just kind of blanket the rice. Pick it up like that with your chopsticks. Well, that picked up like half my rice. And then you've got a perfect rice wrap seaweed. And then finally got the, it is a radish beef soup. It has a nice pepper flavor. And then like really, really beefy tasting. Yeah, definitely. And kind of oily. And then I also went back to try their mushroom soup. Very milky, very creamy, but I do like those mushrooms in there and the pepper in there. Very enjoyable time at the lounge. And yeah, the food here is pretty good, pretty decent. Nice place to sit, but time flies by. It's time to go to our gate. your next flight. Okay, just showing you. Let's go now. Came all the way to the end of the wing of the airport. Our gate is down the escalator, gate 239. Minutes, this is where the tour of Incheon International Airport catering to Seoul finishes. Uh, Shake Shack, that was just completely impromptu, but then, yeah, walking around the airport, uh, I really is one of the best airports that I've been to, one of the greatest airports to have a layover in, and they've done a great job. It's so modern, it's so new, it's so clean. The facilities, the internet, the restaurants available, the, yeah, it's it, the design, the greenness, one of the best airports in the world, and I hope this gives you an idea of what you can do when you have a layover or when you are checking in or checking out of your flight in Seoul, South Korea, Incheon. On Mark Abroad, I'm going to be publishing a lot more travel videos, accommodation reviews, airplane reviews, travel tips, so uh, check out more of the videos. I'll have them linked below, and I want to say a big thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you, and thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Seoul, and I will see you on the next video. Is that our flight? Okay, okay, bye-bye.